So today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make your um, hardwired smoke alarm stop beeping. Now I'm just going to go ahead and assume that because some of them, and, but not this one, will have a battery backup right here, but this one doesn't. So if yours has a battery backup, I'm going to assume you already changed the battery in it and it's still chirping. Alright, and uh, if you open the back of this up here um, and notice there is no battery when you, you know, unplug the wires from here, that's the reason why it would be chirping because there's no battery backup in it. I mean, this unit doesn't have the battery backup feature. So let's assume you change the battery and it don't work, and it still chirps. All right. One of the uh, reasons could be is that either your AC quick connector here is not properly all the way plugged into it. All right. You're supposed to squeeze these and then plug it, push it in. All right. And if it's working properly, this light right here should be on constantly green. And if it's flickering, that might be a reason why. To, um, or the day, because uh, you're supposed to replace these. Or some of them are every five years. Some of them are every ten years. This one says right here, replace in ten years. All right. So if it's older than ten years, it should have the date on it. Or five years, or whatever your model is. That's a reason it could be false alarming and chirping. Or it could just have dust inside here. So you just take a vacuum cleaner and use uh, air compressor only. Use the air compressor feature only. Don't suck uh, dust out of it. Just kind of blow it out. And then plug it back in and see how it works. And if it still chirps, then I would recommend uh, getting the instruction manual out or call the number that's on the back here and get their info on it. Or if you don't want to go through all the trouble, just go down to Lowe's and get yourself a new one. These are about $10, all right? So, um, I hope this tip was useful. All right, bye-bye.